Hey guys, how the frig's it going today? Well, it's Wednesday here on Vlogging Life, and uh, tonight at 7 o'clock, me, Adrian, and his girlfriend, Christina, are going to head out to get sushi for supper. I already had breakfast. I had no idea what I was going to vlog about today, I'm trying to find something. I think I might have found something to give you guys an update on. Anybody out there use Steam to get games, and you're sick and tired of stuttering video? Well, I've done some research, and I'm going to try this method out and see if it works. Uh, basically on Steam when you go to look at a game if they have videos to preview them one of the main problems is the video stutters when you go to watch it in full screen if you watch it in small screen it's fine but when you've got a display of 1080p the small screen is like small as frig so something that uh, I've been hating about it is uh, I'll go to uh, Steam see a game and go oh that's kinda cool and then I end up hopping on YouTube I go to another source just to go watch a game and it's like I shouldn't have to do that so I found a method I'm just gonna give her a try and see if this accidentally works uh, there was a game I was interested in uh, where did it go Ooh, far sky let's see what that's all about and so far so good so I'm full screen now and look it's actually buffering way ahead of the gameplay so that's actually working out for me in Steam. So basically what I did to fix this, and it's pretty easy, um, we'll pause this gameplay, we'll take her out of full screen mode. You go up here to uh, Steam, get a little bit more of a zoom on that, go up here to Steam, go to settings, and then your settings open up, okay. You want to go down here where it says beta participation. Right now it says being, uh, beta Steam or Steam beta update. If you click on change, you want to set this right here to Steam beta update. By default, it's opt out. You want to make sure it's set to the beta. For some reason, running the beta actually fixes this problem. So that's pretty cool if you're a Steam user. And you want to watch the demo reels in full screen, not in tiny screen, because, like, honestly, that's a pretty tiny screen, because literally that's what you're watching right there is that little screen. And that's, I don't know, I'd rather see it in full screen, you know, I don't have a 22-inch monitor, so I can watch with friggin' 8-inch display. That doesn't do it for me. I like watching things in full screen so I can get right immersed, but uh, maybe other people don't mind it, but... That's a fix for it right there, and it's just the Steam application that's in beta, not the whole, um, not all the games and stuff. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to bring you guys to sushi tonight because we're going to a new place called Aroides or something like that. It's uh, over by the uh, pizza place I always go to, Little Caesars. So that's kind of cool. And um, yeah, right now I'm looking for racing games uh, on freaking uh, on Steam to use with my racing wheel because <laughs> I had a fucking blast last night playing dirt people. Uh, I played dirt 3 for a bit, racing on the dirt tracks and buddy's like hard left to, to gravel, hard right to asphalt and he's just giving her it and I'm driving, I'm fucking slamming through the gears. For some reason dirt 3 doesn't use a clutch so you just don't even have to touch the clutch. Just keep take your foot off the gas, switch, go, take your foot off the gas, switch, go, take your foot off the gas, switch, go. And it only uses five gears. I tried to put her in, in six gear and well that was a bad time. I fucking slammed her into neutral and red line and blew my engine. But um, other than that it's friggin awesome. Like I had a blast with it. So I'm looking for other games that might work and I'm looking at this one called Project Cars. I think Adrian got it and he said it's a fucking blast. So I might get Project Cars for the steering wheel and Adrian has it so we could probably race together and stuff. And I don't know, like that racing wheel has a lot of cool shit. Euro Truck Simulator works great with it. Other games work great with it. So I just want to see what else I can get for it and give her. I'd like to get a game like a... Uh, like a road trip simulator or something, eh? But that's what Euro Truck is. But I'd like to do that in a fast car just so I can fucking scoot around like an Ursul. Ah, well, I'll, I'll keep my eyes on the prize. And one of these nights I want to do Euro Truck Simulator and stream that shit to YouTube with all the boys because uh, there's totally a multiplayer mode. Uh, that's what Adrian's been streaming a lot of lately. And I kind of want to get in on that because it looks like they have a fucking blast and 
I suck at driving, so I'd probably be right up there with Don 2323. It'd be a good time. Nice, they have Unreal Tournament for good computers. I'm so excited. Do competitions and tournaments in Unreal Tournament back in the day. Back uh, when I used to pro game pretty much. Go to freaking Toronto for Lanageddon and stuff like that. And just kick some fucking serious ass. Used to win a bunch of tournaments. Won a bunch of hardware for computers and all sorts of different stuff. Pimp your rig when you get home. You know, get a new motherboard, new video card, all this shit. I used to barely ever buy hardware for my my gaming rig back in the day because I won it all. It's friggin' mint. Well, looks like the snowplow came by again. Son of a bitch. Got to deal with this, but Adrian should be on his way to scoop me up. And then uh, onward to sushi. Yeah. And I've been looking at different heat sources for the garage. Because I want to get cracking on that motorbike frame. Um... I was thinking, uh, I don't know if you've seen Adrian's video yet, Tasty Glue's video, but he has a Mr. Buddy Heater 9000 BTU, runs on the little green camping propane tanks. Well, they got a bigger one that's 18,000 BTU, and it's good for, I think they said, up to uh, 1,000 square feet of space, which, I don't know the square footage of my garage, but... That seems like it would probably do the job. And I was thinking about scooping that up. And they also have those ones that look like uh, parabolic dishes, you know. They clip to the top side of a, uh, a propane tank. And away you go. And I was thinking about one of those would be kind of cool too. You know, for ventilation, I can just open the window on the door and let fresh air in. And... Uh, you know, avoid asphyxiating myself with carbon monoxide poisoning. But, uh, yeah. The Caro world works, but not good enough. It's definitely not a shop heater. Uh, I need something with a little bit more forced air induction. And that's where the propane tanks come in. So, I don't know, he said it worked great in his, his little trailer. So, I figured it should work alright, my shit. Anyway, I think that's them coming now, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, we made it to sushi. Let's go get some noms. Okay, so we're sitting here and we're ordering away, but we don't even need this because we do everything on the iPad. Oh yeah, I guess that just kind of... Everything on the iPad. This is good for me because they can both look at the iPad, then I can look at this and go, Oh, I knew we need this stuff and this stuff and... I ordered that. I ordered for that. That's going to be good. And we got a bunch of rolls and stuff we coming got, in. And we got seven stuff. Butter things and we should be good to go. So I'll pick up the camera once we get the food here and then we'll uh, check it out. I'm going to try and use chopsticks. It's going to be rather humorous. So that's the broccoli tempura. And that's my faux soup. Yep, that's going to happen. It's awesome. Yay, California rules. We got more sushis. I'm gonna drop this in my face. I hope you and the eyeball were usually the one of these times. That's rude. Freak scenes. Many shrimps have died today by my face. Oh man, just got back from sushi, boys. Fucking ate so much. My gut sticking out like a foot. I need to go take a shit. So I didn't show you all the food, but I showed you most of the food. We ordered 28 items between the three of us tonight. California rolls, we ordered a black dragon, which after we were done eating it, realized it was topped with eel. Oh my goodness. I can barely walk, I'm so front heavy. Oh, freaking awesome though. So I just tried that Unreal Tournament and I was doing really good. I was in the top tier. I wanted to film the final score. We had a minute left and I was killing the shit out of people. I tell you that right now. Um, I was fucking dominating. This new Unreal Tournament plays just like the old Unreal Tournament. And it's fucking awesome. All the weapons that I love. The rocket launcher, the flak gun, the blob launcher where you can launch. You put like a big glob of snot on the ground and it's toxic waste. So if people walk over it, they take toxic damage. And if you nail someone with it, it coats them in it, so they take damage over time. So you just fill someone up with it and walk away, and when they die, you get the kill. If somebody shoots them and they die, you still get the kill. And that's what I was doing. I was globbing people up and just filling them full of snot and then fucking off. Some sniper takes them out, I get the kill. And I was dominating pretty good. And fucking game crashed because of the ATI drivers. Well, time to update those. 
Oh hey guys, it's 2 o'clock in the morning and we just finished playing a whole fuckload of Grand Theft Auto online. Did some racing, some missions, some other stuff if it was a good time. If you missed the stream and you want to watch it, don't worry. All streams are recorded and stored on YouTube. And that's the reason why I like recording to YouTube. Because the streams are stored so people who missed it and want to see it can go watch it. And it's freaking awesome. Looks like we got I'm getting some snow. It's fucking snowing again. Son of a bitch, how many feet are we going to get tonight? Might be another blower day tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, today was kind of a, a burnout kind of a day. We didn't really do much. That's the problem with winter is a lot of the stuff I want to do, I can't do because it's winter. But, uh, like go mini biking or tractor romping. And that's why getting laid off in the winter kind of sucked, you know. I wish they could have waited until, well, I'm glad I got laid off when I did because I don't know how much more of that job I could have taken. But um, it sucks same time because, like I said, the winter's fucking boring. I don't really do a lot in the winter. Come on, Oreo, go potty. Come on, Oreo, come. This is what I hate. I tell him to come, and he just sits there with his face in the snow. I tell him to come on, well, he'll get fucking cold paw, and he'll get his face. Look at him. He's like face first, deep in the snow. He'll get cold paw and walk back in shortly. Where'd you come from? Oh, Jesus, that was a loud meow. What are we doing? Got some bacon? No? Oh, okay. There, he's finally back in the house. He's got fucking icicles dripping off his face. Get off me, you wet fucking snow-covered dog. Stop it. He doesn't fucking care. That's what I laugh at. You guys are like, oh, fuck, you, you calling your dog stupid. He doesn't care. You think the fucking dog knows English? Like, there's one guy who's like, oh, there he is, calling the dog stupid again. Do you honestly think this thing understands English? Do you honestly think that? Because if you do, you're probably dumb. Like dogs learn what? Maybe 50 words? And as far as he's concerned, stupid's his name. Right, stupid? Who's a good puppy? Reek, good puppy. Fuck you, Reek. You need a bath. You're going to get a bath tomorrow. Not tonight, but tomorrow. You smell like a fucking skunk's arsehole. Well, anyway, people, that's going to be the end of today's vlog because it's 2 o'clock in the morning. By the time I get this edited and uploaded, it's going to be about 3 o'clock in the morning. And I want to get to bed early tonight because, uh, yeah, I just want to get to bed early tonight. I was looking at those, uh, those salmon, uh, salmonella fucking salamander heaters for the garage. And uh, Crappy Tire's got two in stock, but I read the reviews on them. And a lot of people say they work, but you got to practically leave the garage bay door open because the amount of propane they use and the carbon monoxide they create is kind of brutal. The uh, noise, apparently it sounds like a jet turbine, so good luck videotaping out in the garage when that thing is going, eh? Because it's just like non-stop. So I was looking at those at Crappy Tire, the they got two in stock for 99 bucks, and I was thinking about a different heat source, but like I said, uh, Adrian has that little buddy heater, and they got the big buddy version, which is 18,000 BTU, uh, and it's good for like a thousand square feet, which would easily do my garage, and the garage has so many fucking non-insulated areas where air gets in anyway, so even with all the windows closed, I probably would never have an oxygen shortage out there while that thing was running. And it runs off little camping cylinders, which are like five bucks for three of them. So, and that's good for like six hours. And I'm never out there that long, so, you know, that's what I was thinking about picking up. They have them on sale for about a bill 40, but uh, might go look at that tomorrow, or might not. The other thing I was thinking about doing was getting an exercise bike to go with my gym equipment. So then get some cardio into this motherfucker because I do the weightlifting during the day and no I don't vlog that because well why the fuck would you want to watch a guy work out if you do there's a bunch of channels on YouTube that have that already you don't need to know about that but I would like to get an exercise bike for like right now I'm about to shut down the vlog edit and while it's uploading I can come down here sit down here put on the YouTube videos for the day that I missed sit on the exercise bike and fucking give her while watching the YouTube videos you know and they got one over at uh, Crappy Tire for, I think it was two and change. I can't remember now. But it's a recumbent bike, which is what I want. That's where you sit down, your legs go up, and you, you work it. Rather than sitting on the bike and pedaling like a real bike. And it's got like a bunch of different settings. And you got to plug it into the wall. The one that ran off of its own power, which I guess the wheel is magnetic or whatever. And it creates its own power so you can have it anywhere you want in the house doesn't matter but that one there uh, was like 600 bucks 
And the only difference between the two is one runs off its own power, the other one you need to plug it in. Well, fuck, I'll just get the plug-in one for cheaper, because where I want to put it, I'm going to have to clean out the area. But uh, right now i got my weigh scale right here. I want to clean out this area here, where i got the battery pack and vacuum and other sh... What the fuck am I hearing? Really? This computer is noisy. Yeah, I want to clean out this corner right here where I got the uh, the battery pack and the ratchet set and garbage can cat toy. This thing. And I want to put the pedal bike right here facing the TV. So I'd be facing the TV like this and then I could put on like Netflix or whatever and watch Netflix while I fucking crank off a bunch of calories for a couple of hours, eh? That'd be pretty good. I just shit my fucking pants. That was a sushi fart. But anyway, I'm going to shut her down, get this all edited up, and go from there. So on that note, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, fire them down below. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.